Welcome back guys. So I'm excited to share today's video with you guys. We're gonna build a portable live well to take in and out of a boat. Whether you wanna to fish tournaments or you're just trying to keep fish alive, it's gonna be really cheap, effective, and it's gonna be pretty simple as well. Now for those of y'all who follow the channel, you know that me and my son fish for trophy catfish. So that's why we're building this tank today. We plan on fishing a few tournaments this year. So we want a, a suitable live well for those big trophy catfish, you know, up to 50 inches long or bigger. But you gotta keep in mind, guys, you can use the same plumbing system on any, any uh, container, whether it be a tote that you put down in your boat or a cooler or a big toolbox like this, you can use the same plumbing setup on any of that and it'll work great. So this is a 56 inch toolbox from Tractor Supply and I got a good deal on this because it had some dents in the side of it. You can shop around a lot of times and find these toolboxes that get damaged and they'll sell them to you for 20, 30% off. So it makes a huge difference. So the way we're gonna set this thing up, we're gonna have fresh water in and water out all the time if we want it. If the boat's not in the water or we're running up and down the river, we can shut a couple valves, open a couple valves and recirculate the water. So it's gonna be really simple. I'll show you guys everything I'm gonna do step by step. So let's get started. So we're gonna be running two 800 gallon per hour pumps. One's gonna be inside the toolbox one's going to be through the hull of the boat and i made sure i found a bilge pump that had a threaded end on it versus a barbed end you can put a barbed end on it or you can put a, an elbow on it in this case i'm going to use a 90 and i'm going to plumb it in solid and that's what's going to hold the that's what's going to hold the bilge pump down in the tank so i'm not going to have to run screws through the tank i'm not have to, going to have to glue it in and stuff the actual pvc is gonna hold the pump upright in the tank. And I'll, I'll show you guys a little more about that in a minute. So I'm gonna be using a step bit to drill the holes in the back of this box. They make a pretty clean cut in aluminum. So I've got my first hole drilled. I'm gonna be using a T and a 90 degree elbow to kind of make like a through hole fitting by putting a piece of three quarter thread in the middle of them. But all of my Plumbing is going to be above the water line, so it doesn't really matter if it's watertight or not. If you're going to put something uh, down here under the water line, you'd probably be better off to use like a, a bulkhead fitting or something with a rubber seal on it. But for what we're doing right here, this is going to work fine. So we got our pump mounted. I'll probably drill a little hole underneath here to bring my wires out of just so it's a little cleaner and kind of a straight shot. If I ever need to change the pump, I'll just have to take that T off on the outside and swing it up and take it off. That's gonna hold it in place right there really nice. Now we just need to two more one inch holes in the back of the box. All right, so we got our other two holes drilled. I'll show you guys what we're gonna be putting in there. So I ordered these spray heads and they had this 90 degree fitting on them. And I thought I could just screw that off. Well, it turns out the nut screws off, but all this is one piece. So what I did guys is I cut that elbow off and these, these are three quarter pipe threads and I'm gonna screw it on here like this. And that's what's gonna secure it to the tank right there. I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. I have one of these that's a 90 degree and I have one of them that's straight. Guys, we're almost done. I'm gonna go over with you guys how I have the plumbing set up on the outside of the box. So from our through hole pump, we come up through the transom of the boat, 
I have a couple fittings right here and it comes up to a straight fitting and on the inside of that fitting is my adjustable spray head. I had originally planned on just running a hose right up behind the toolbox in front of the splash well here. I guess I didn't really think it through because it kinked my hose up and it also kept me from sliding this toolbox all the way to the back. It's a lot cleaner and neater now and I don't really mind drilling a hole right here because it was actually a plate where somebody had already patched a hole. So it's not like I'm drilling a hole in the actual boat. So on this side, we come up from our pump into a T. Now on the straight side of that T, we have a shutoff valve with a piece of hose coming over the transom of the boat. On the other part of our T, we have a short piece of hose going to our other spray head. And this one shutoff valve right here is what's gonna allow us to either pump water out of the boat or recirculate the water. Well, we've got the live well in the boat. We've got everything hooked up. We've got the pump and the tank wired up. There's only one thing left to do and that's head to the lake and show you guys how this thing actually works. it out to the lake the water is extremely high and muddy so we're going to pump some of this chocolate milk into this tank here that's the easiest way for me to show you guys how this works is actually go through it and use it just like i would be if i was going to put fish in it the pump that i'm using to bring the fresh water in was actually already mounted in the boat when i bought it it's got a small live well on the front that i never used so i unhooked it and i've got it hooked up to this now there's a switch mounted up here on the dash I want you guys to keep in mind, if you don't want to put a through hole pump in your boat, if you don't want to cut a big hole in it, I completely get that. You can throw a pump over the side of the boat when you're setting still fishing with a piece of hose coming in to a spray head just like this. It'll do the same thing. You just, uh, instead of having the pump mounted in the boat, you'll just have it on the outside of the boat. So we've got our water level about where it'll be at when we're fishing tournaments. Uh, by the time you add a few uh, good sized fish to that, the displacement of the water is going to bring the level up even more. So that's quite a bit of water. That's probably 50 gallon of water or so if I had to guess. When you get the water level up to where you want it, we're going to start pumping dirty water out as we're pumping fresh water in. Obviously if you just let it keep pumping as is, you know, the tank will be overflowing within a few minutes. So that's where this pump comes into play. So we're going to hook up this pump. I just got a uh, two pin connection on that. So right now we're recirculating the water. There's absolutely zero water coming in from the lake. All the water that we have coming in through this valve is just recirculating. It's bringing water through this pump straight over here into that 90 and out of our spray head. So we can use the recirculating right here without the boat even being in the water. Say we're waiting in a long way in line or something, uh, that's going to give the fish a little more oxygen than just water standing still. But it's going to do nothing to clean the water. There's still going to be a lot of gases, ammonia, uh, stuff the fish regurgitate, all that's going to be in the water. So anytime we're not running up and down the river, we're going to be pumping in fresh water and pumping out dirty water. And I'll show you guys what we do. So all we have to do to pump in fresh water and pump out the dirty water. Let's close this valve right here. And then we're just gonna open this valve right here. We're gonna plug our pump back up. And then we're gonna turn our through hole pump on. So it's bringing in fresh water from the lake and it's pumping out the dirty water. I just got a hose going over the back of my boat right here. So even though both my pumps are 800 gallons per hour, one of them's still gonna pump more water than the other one. That's just the way it is. So if you don't have a way to regulate how much water's coming in and out, eventually your tank's either gonna overflow or you're gonna run it dry. So that's why it's really important to have a way to regulate how much water's coming in and out. So we got this ball valve right here. We can adjust how much water comes out with that ball valve. And these spray heads are adjustable. So I can turn that thing down to where it's just barely a trickle. 
or I can open it up where we're getting the full 800 gallons per hour. But once you, once you get that adjusted right, you know, you don't have to worry about it anymore. All I have to do is unplug this two prong connection right here and pop, and pop that hose off and we're, you know, it's like it was never there. So I think we're gonna go out here and catch some bait and try to do a little catfishing this afternoon. It's an absolutely beautiful day out here. Nicest day we've had in a long time. But I wanna thank you guys for watching. God bless you guys and we'll see you in the next video.